What's up guys? I'm Tyler and there's Brittany. She is on the tractor behind me and we're doing a little fun stuff. We're getting our cornfield chopped in from last year where, well, from the previous season, we're getting ready for the new season come March, which is not that far away, guys. So we're chopping up the old stalks, prepping the field. We got to put some lime on it this year. Figured we'd show you some of the other stuff we do out here. As you can see, he's working through the field right now. If you guys look here, you can see the remnants of the old corn stalks. So what we're doing is chopping this up, getting it where it will break down over the winter. Matter of fact, we probably are gonna even turn and plow this field. So we turn all this under as soon as we get our lime in and we'll let that mix into the soil. And if you guys didn't know, now you'll know, I'm a Farmall International Harvester collector. I build, trade, buy, sell Farmall tractors and have for the past probably 10 years. So I really enjoy using these tractors and farming with these tractors. It's just a hobby. So let you in on a little bit of what we do for fun. And it also feeds us. That's a good thing. thing I'll mention guys I love a farm all tractors and equipment kind of rubbed off on the wife she really enjoys getting out here and plowing and all that stuff it's fun it's just like riding I don't know a carnival ride I guess you'd say riding these old tractors is definitely different than riding modern tractors but the use for them is still the same and that's to put seed in the ground and repair the ground and whatever else you may say or do with the tractor but I can even show you I'll cut to a clip here where when I recently this is a new purchase I purchased two weeks ago I've even unloaded some logs at the sawmill with it because I had a guy come up with a trailer two sides and uh, I had to get them off so I had to slide them off and I was like I'm gonna use that C tractor to slide those off the back with some tongs it was fun and I got to use it at the sawmill It's worth mentioning here in the video, I'm gonna cut to a section where this old disc has been in the family now for all of my great uncles for a long time. I don't know how long my Uncle Bill had that thing, but I will say that it's worth mentioning that I had to do a little bit of work on that and plow it, I'm not plow it, weld it to keep it into, uh, keep it into work. And those are old cylinder heads we throwed on there for weight several years ago. And uh, I'm gonna include that clip of me welding that up and fixing that right here, so check that out. Got a little repair work to do today. Set up, been cutting in the old cornfield. And this old piece broke on me and uh, it had been welded years ago, very bad. It had a little patch over the top. So I cut them cold welds off the top there. And I'm about to try to see if I can fit that up as close as I can, grind this out and bevel it, and then try to actually weld this back properly. Let's see what we can make happen.
is the thing that needed fixed, I fixed it. Could it be better? Probably. Could it be worse? For sure, it could be broken. And just like that, we're winding down. Britt's gonna shut her down. Well, that was fun. Now I know why you're so into these old tractors like you are. It has begun. She will now suffer from the same addiction that I have, <laughs> the love for old tractors and old farm equipment. Okay guys, I'm gonna wind this one down really quick. It's uh, at the end of the day, it's December the 12th, 13th, yep. 14th. Today's the 14th. <laughs> I know, I know that guys because I called Wood Miser today, and for my, you know, all the sawmill fans, which I know most of you are, the Wood Miser manual board return that I've ordered for our LT40 is supposed to be built today and should ship tomorrow or the following day. So that's how I know it's the 14th. I don't know how I forgot that for a second. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is just going to be a short video. Um, you know. Just wanted to show the old farm all equipment that we have. I recently got this one and I'm playing with it right now. And, you know, just a little mini update. We got a big video coming out tomorrow of saw milling, some white oak lumber. I want everybody to follow and like and subscribe and all that stuff. Links in the description below to our Patreon and to our merchandise and our P.O. Box. Yep, P.O. Box is also down there for fan mail. Send us some cool stuff, guys. We're just trying to meet and greet and interact with our fans uh it doesn't have to be anything special we had a couple guys reach out to us the reason we created that and they wanted to send us some canvas or something for yeah. our to cover the back of our shed they seen a need and they wanted to fill it and i was like well, i can make you know i gladly accept that so we did create a little fan mailbox send us a letter we don't care just something cool anyway guys that's gonna do it for this one it's a short one just want to show you some old farm equipment until next time see ya bye